Hi, uh, my name is uh, John Hanmer. I'm a client at Oakleaf. I am studying in the upholstery on a Wednesday and I am also taking quite a few of the online Zoom classes. Um, basically, without most of the online classes, I wouldn't have had a reason to get up during the start of lockdown. Tell us a little bit more about how the pandemic has been for you personally. Well, I was already struggling before the pandemic quite largely uh, due to previous work and overstretching myself to the point where I like to put pressure on myself, but it became rather a self-destructive cycle. Um, then I came and I was introduced here to Kelvin, Georgia and Annalise, uh, who were the first three that I met face to face. Um, even before yourself and um, they've all helped me out tremendously. I was uh, lucky enough to do things like get involved in the art projects that they do online uh, with Calypso out in Italy and um, as for the pandemic it's really rather I was just lucky because I can't drive that was a massive disadvantage to me so I wouldn't have had anywhere to go or anything to do um, whilst other charities that I'm involved in had to close down. Oakleaf pretty much became remote, uh, as in online, straight away. And I'm very fortunate for that. Um, I, gen I genuinely would say I would be in a terrible state or possibly even worse off if it wasn't uh, for Oakleaf. I don't say that to flatter anyone. I say that as a matter of fact. Um, I don't know if I would have coped, quite frankly. Um, because, I, yeah, I was in quite a mess at one point or another. But it, yes, it, it did reach a stage where I really was struggling and there was no purpose at all, which both in inside and outside of um, lockdown, when Oakley was opening itself up a little bit and then closing down, depending on the COVID situation, I was a, coming in to do upholstery, for example, gave me a sense of purpose, um, as well as the social garden I do in Farnham. Again, they gave me a reason to actually get up and do things, as did the online classes, many of which start between 9 and 11 for me, so that was a reason to actually get up, get dressed and do things. And does the sleep then impact your mental health? Yes, I'm definitely bringing it back to mental health. I have been to a variety of um, mental health classes and practitioners, um, but the, the counselling I'm now receiving from Oakleaf has um, been very beneficial and actually allowed me to go into both current and historical areas which I haven't necessarily addressed properly um, and that's been very beneficial. Um, coming back here has been, um, it's nice to see faces that you've spoken to online. Uh, it definitely continues to give me a sense of purpose. I mean I was exhausted this morning, really didn't want to get up but I had to make myself because I have a train to catch. It's not a case of just getting in a car and driving over for me. My epilepsy makes it illegal for me to drive so I have to be on time to get to the train station and they've been very good here. I've missed a train possibly once, well definitely once, possibly twice and um, they're very understanding. Steve's been brilliant, um, as is Nettie in the upholstery department. And everybody, there's always somebody here to talk to, even if it's about finances or jobs or anything else. So I really appreciate that. The four, the three to five charities I'm involved with, only Oakleaf uh, moved so fast to get things in place virtually the next day. And I appreciate the fact that there have been lots of um, late night consultations between the client services, management, ownership, and all the departments, obviously yourself included, to actually make sure people are getting the support they need. Um, and, you know, I've seen people struggling and I've struggled myself and someone's contacted client services and within the day, same day, somebody calls you up to check you're okay. And that's just very good and it's it just shows um, a lot of compassion, not just the time that people are here to work, but that people actually genuinely care. <laughs>